And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Riven. This is going to be a pretty cool combination. We're going to be playing an aggressive deck with Noxus and Shreema with um, these two champions, Sivir and Riven. They curve well together, Riven costing three, Sivir costing four. And what could be really cool here is that if we level up Sivir, right, if we're attacking everything, doing a bunch of damage, we level up Sivir. Then Sivir says that while I'm attacking, your attacking allies have all of my keywords. And that's important because Riven makes these um, blade fragments that can give some extra keywords. So we can give Overwhelm to Sivir, and then Sivir gives everything else Overwhelm, for example. Sivir already has the Quick Attack, um, so we don't need that one as much, but the Overwhelm. And kind of the same thing with the Blade of the Exile, right? Like we can have the Blade of the Exile on the Sivir, give it Overwhelm that way as well. But you know, like that, that's a, a pretty nice combination. Another way to give Sivir Overwhelm is going to be with Kato the Arm. So Kato with Sivir should be pretty cool, uh, making it, you know, very big with Quick Attack, Overwhelm, and still having that Spell Shield to protect. So that should be another good combination. And it should help get us to that 35 damage that we need um, to see dealt um, pretty well. Going with two Captain Farons today because of the increase in Demacia Targon decks, some slower decks. We, we need that... Uh, power to help finish out games. Got a siphoning strike in here to go along with our spell shield units like Ruin Runner and Sivir that can help grow these. Because if we are going to make, you know, like larger overwhelm Sivir, we do want it to, again, be larger. And so siphoning strike can help out with that. So we just got one of those in here. Nice ride of negation for protection. And, you know, early like curve out units because that's what we're going to want to do is, is curve out. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of transfusion. I know it can be awkward with like Ruin... Rune Weaver, Dune Keeper, Blade Squire, these things with one health it can be a little awkward, but I found that playing like these this region combination and just Noxus decks in general in the past, that having all of your combat spells cost three mana can really be a, a pretty big hindrance. And so I want I want you know like a combat trick we can play that doesn't cost three mana. And so I, I like Transfusion, so we're gonna try that out. Okay, well let's let's give it a try. Sivir Riven. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. All right, and there we go. Like I was talking about, Demacia Targon decks really popular right now. They have really good late game. So finishing games out can be difficult, and that's why we need Captain Farron. All right, we're just going to keep all this. Need to update the deckless command. Sorry about that. There you go. All right, so this is a, a really nice first three turns for us because we get to go with the Doom Keeper attacking on turn one. Turn two, we get to play the Squire and then save a spell mana for exhaust. And turn three, we can play the Riven and then also have that mana for exhaust. So a really nice first three turns for us with this opener. All right, so they got a dragon in hand. When will I find Maybe we should be just going Ballista here instead of the Riven. With Ballista having the Overwhelm. Should just gone ballista. Yeah, it's always good having the champions in play, but that was the best possible card for them to hit. A zero mana unit. Fly to them on broken wings. Business as usual. This would be going, you know, this is ten damage right here that I'm just uh, dealing, so that's gonna be twenty one out of thirty five for Sivir. Ah, 
now. And we kind of just want to draw Captain Farron from here. Another day guarding the walls. Ready weapons. All right, whirling death or transfusion. Let's see what we got. Danger pays. So we need to do six damage to level up Sivir. It's a living. So six damage would be. I mean, it would just be attacking, just be hitting with Sivir. Give the. So maybe I just give the Sivir because the Sivir does have the, you know, it has the the spell shield, so it's the safest thing. Maybe I just give the the plus two plus zero to the Sivir, even though it doesn't have it doesn't have the overwhelm, right? Like I wanted to give the plus two plus zero to the Iron Bliss because it has the overwhelm, and then that's six overwhelm, and then that would level up everything else. I'm gonna I'll just do that, but that's. Mm. There's still much to answer for. No turning back now. It's basically Iron Ballista hits that levels up Sivir, and then they all have quick attack. That was probably a mistake, though. Maybe I should have just gone on the Sivir. It's easier with Whirling Death with Sivir. This isn't gonna be lethal. I probably should have just played this Blade of the Exile here on the Sivir first. Let me go to 12. Captain Farron, help out. That is not Captain Farron. I know my purpose. Basically, Sharp Sight doesn't save this anymore since I used that Blade of the Exile. Ooh, that's a good draw. Alright, open attack. Give them the spell shield. This is my choice. Never back down from what you believe. Pushing my limit. Well, that's bad. That's real bad. Captain Farron, where are you? We need ya. A beacon through the dark. Uh. 
Captain Farron. Hooray! I didn't play Sivir because of, like, Screeching Dragon, right? Like, I didn't want to, like, post-combat, I didn't want to play Sivir. They play Screeching Dragon, challenge it. I wanted to wait till after they attacked before I played the Sivir. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. And this is why we're playing two Captain Farrens. Because these matchups are pretty popular and very important to have that top end. We are currently in Master's Rank. Alright, so basically we'll see if they have star shaping. They do not. Alright, that'll do. One no. <laughs> it's a more Demacia Targon. We're going to need Captain Farron again in the late game, not early. Um, but maybe I should just keep it early. Because we do need it late. kind of feel like maybe I should just keep it in my opening hand, because we're going to need it. It's really weird keeping an 8-mana card, though, that doesn't do anything until turn 8. Like, it could just be that our hand's going to be too slow if I keep it. I keep it, though. Alright, cool. We still got a good 1-2-3 curve. See what we see. Pass. Another day guarding the wall. At least it wasn't Mountain Goat. Don't let them through. Not done yet. So if I play Iron Ballista, it dies to Dragon Guard Lieutenant. I think that I think they probably have another lieutenant how they're passing. But that means that that's one less Dragon Guard Lieutenant to kill Sivir. Hey, stop. Oh, no, they just passed for realsies. Oh, man, this is a tough... This is tough now. Like, I want to play Sivir, but open attack looks good. Okay, I play Sivir, they play Shivana. I think I like Shivana. I guess I just open attack. Otherwise, they go Shivana, Sharp Sight, kill my Sivir, but I got backup Sivir, got backup Kato. I know what I want. They could have like the 5 4 Life Steal with Sharp Sight, that would be bad. Because if they just play one unit and block the Sivir, they still take six. And even Sivir dies, it's not like Ricochet is that great. We can get another one out. It would be me dealing another five damage towards leveling up Sivir. And we, we put pressure on them, right? Like if they don't have a very good hand, like this is very good against a, a not good hand, right? We're putting a lot of pressure on them. Oh, they do have the life steal unit. Well, that's the worst case scenario. Hmm. Yeah, good. Uh, good card. Good card. Speaking of good cards. Let's pass right here first. Fire and fury burn me. All right, so that attacks is a five, six. Doesn't level up though. What time is it?
Easy block on Kato. Oh, well, that's just how it is. Warning, take you. <sighs> All right, so quicksand. This is this is 15 right now. We should get to 32 out of 35. I think sometimes you just gotta let it go. I could that could be a turning point. They'll look back at and wish I would have used the quicksand to save Kato. Definitely. Come hither, you beasts of glory. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Okay, pretty interesting game. Pretty close. Shape the skies and mold the earth. They're looking at playing early in Soul next turn. I really want to play Kato and Quicksand and you know be able to ricochet, but that costs one more mana than what I have if, if the ricochet goes down to three mana. So we may not be able to Quicksand because I really want to do this ricochet. I don't want to pass here, because if I pass here and then they just pass back, that would be kind of bad for me. Yeah, see, not surprised by that. Now, this where it's kind of bad, where I can't... I can't do both, Quicksand and Ricochet. If Sivir dies, of course, this just goes back to being Sivir and not Ricochet. Quick attack overwhelm. I give you All right, what do they got? I don't think it's worth it me playing Captain Farron first and then they play Aurelian Soul. Because now, because if they block with these things, then they don't get to play Aurelian Soul if they block with these little one ones. That still puts them to zero. You gotta block with one of these, so no really until for you. Still put you to zero. Okay. That still means no really soul, because now they only have seven mana. This seven damage would level up the Shivana. So they would go to two, because now Shivana would have six health. And future Shivanas would be leveled up. Alright, so we get five random damages. If two of them hits their nexus, that's the game. Otherwise, hopefully we hit... You know, so hopefully we do that. I know it's a little greedy not just playing the Captain Farron, but... This Ricochet could be pretty nice in this scenario. There's not really a... Anything bad that can happen with the Ricochet. It, like, either kills them... It either kills them or it kills these 1-1s. One hopefully it kills them. Okay, so that was the worst possible ricochet. <laughs> that was definitely the worst possible, because it didn't kill them and only killed one dragon. So three three went to the Screeching Dragon, one Herald. So yeah, that was the worst possible. Yeah, so now they still get a really soul and they didn't die. Alright, but that will still do. Captain Farron finishes the game out after Sivir did a ton. Kato plus Sivir. That looked like a good combination. Kato plus Sivir. 
So yeah, playing Captain Farron would have been just the better play. But <laughs> Boomerang's fun to play, because you never know what's going to happen. Okay, another, uh, you know, grindy matchup. Captain Farron again. Going to be necessary here. It's Mulligan the Sand Spinner, keep the rest. This is not great against Ice Shard. Um, but oh well, that's life. Join the hunters, they say. The Emperor commands, the land obey. It was an ice shard. At least it was an ice shard. Uh, we're still looking pretty bleak. Good draw. Leave your bags in the door. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. Let's start reforging. How about another round? Overwhelm. I think the best course of action is just to keep putting pressure on them and, you know, ask questions. If they have if they have all the answers, then you know they can win. But I think that's the best course of action. Keep asking the questions. Ooh, no avalanche. So I want to keep this 2-1 alive for my transfusion, so I can use that on the I can use the trans right, I can transfusion this 2-1. Seeing tombs, towns, and everything in between. Bow to your king. That's just such a bad block that they have troll champ. Ugh, couldn't get the plus two plus zero. Sixteen damage, put it to twenty-nine. Even a fragment snuffs out lives. They look angry. As far as possible outcomes go, that wasn't the worst one for me. All right, we need to stop drawing low stuff. Captain Farron, no. <laughs> I need to stop drawing one and two mana cards. We've only drawn one and two mana cards for a long time now. Besides this Ruin Runner. I guess we did draw that like three turns ago on turn five. Oh, another one mana card. To serve the greater good. It's really what you want against, you know, this Freljord control is just a bunch of one and two mana, one health units. It doesn't really get better than this. We're drawing really well. See the world from behind a basilisk. Well, it's better than another one, one mana card. One smack will do. We're not dead yet. To serve the greater good. Okay, 
our only hope. Is dead. Alright, good hand opponent. GG's. Alright, Braum Vladimir. Let's see how we do here. It's definitely going to be better than the last game. That last game was pretty, pretty bad. But it was a tough matchup. Okay, cool. So we get to lead with the Squire on one, so I can have the Dune Keeper on two. See the world from behind a basil. See what we see. It's my time. Okay, got a good start. Never mind. We had a good start. I'll just play Riven right there. That should have been a Riven. Break the ties that bind. Yeah, I, that was that was just a mistake by me. I'm sorry. I should have an additional blade fragment. No turning back now. Violence to end violence. If they have some zero mana way to keep that alive. I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> Yeah, I should have, to have an additional blade fragment right now. Oh, I can't wait. Observe the price of ambition. And so this turn I could be playing. I could have two, and I could have be playing the. Uh... Ooh. The, Emperor the blade of the exile. Okay, so I think we can pretty safely assume they're going to have um, something that does one damage to everything. Could definitely have transfusions and frostbite cart or and uh, troll chance and that kind of stuff. There's still much to answer for. I'm kind of thinking like you know, do I use this this quick attack? Maybe I just just do this. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. So like by putting them over there, if they play the ice shard, then you know like we don't have to worry about them getting into combat or anything. Back to Shivana, Aurelian Soul. Lots of Demacia Targon these days. These cards are important, but we need to have a better curve out. But I think I, again, want to keep Captain Farron, just because of how important this card is at finishing out games, like we did before. Oh, that's a bad mulligan. All right, well, we're just going to play off the top. <laughs> Draw it. Dune Keeper on turn one. Now let's draw like a two drop on turn two. Draw a three drop on turn three, and so on. <laughs> we're just. It's like we're already playing off the top. What we got? Okay, Transfusion. We'll save that for, you know, our Riven that we're going to draw next turn. Here's Riven. It's friend Dune Keeper. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. Another day guarding the wall. Don't let them through! Sure. Okay. Trade our one drops for their two mana challengers and also get six damage in. We're five and five on cards, that's perfect. Her light is our sword, her warmth, our armor. This turn, not so perfect. Not so perfect. 
So I don't even really want to... Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, never mind. I was going to say I don't want to play Blade Squire so that they couldn't, like, single combat and gain another 5 life, but they're already at 19. They're not going to have to single combat and gain another 5 life with them. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Oh, you're dead. This creature dragon is great. Out of the way! Focus on me! So that's a lot of damage for Sivir. That was 12 damage right there. So Sivir's at 22 now. Shining gifts from the sky. Gross. Radiant strikes. Brave and dumb. So it exactly level up Sever. Trade? Wow. Good trades for us. Alright, Sever is exactly leveled up. Yeah, I mean, they can survive a couple Farrens, right? Like, they're playing Star Shaping and Aurelian Soul and stuff like that. Like, this isn't necessarily great for me. Yeah, especially if they get to Aurelian Soul next turn. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect hand to Eclipse Dragon and Aurelian Soul. For where the game was at. Why should I attack with Sivir right there? Like, why do you think that I should attack... Just bluffing combat tricks. Carry your own gear. I don't think I attack with anything else. Business as usual. Join the hunters, they said. When will I find peace? Come hither, you beasts of glory! Well, I like them having Herald of Dragons at this point of the game. We do know that they have a lot of Celestial cards still from what Aurelian Soul's been doing. I do love so we're, our chances of winning this are still I minimal at best. It is a dragon, so it only costs six mana because Eclipse Dragon then Herald of Dragons. Oh, they will shine. I still have a lot more mana, so leveling up Aurelian Soul pretty likely. I think I gotta hope that they can't do it. Yeah, they had. Yeah, I agree. They had. They had a really good hand. Um, two of the five four life steal. They had screeching dragon, which is awesome. They had good combat spells, a sharp sight, and they you know curved eclipse dragon into a really soul. It's, you know what this deck does. They'll pay it 
Attention. Not a good draw. Sivir will just get rid of spell shield. If this, because if this hits a spell shield, it just stops the spell completely. So like, if I cast the ricochet or just like get rid of the spell shield, but. My words bring power to me. Down to twelve. Sometimes you just need a galaxy destroyed. At least they haven't leveled up early in Soul still. You know they just have a million good celestial cards in hand. Her light is our sword, her warmth, our armor. Rough. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. So that's lethal. Because if I if I go with decimate there, then they attack with the sun forger, right? So I guess, I mean, because yeah, that was still that was lethal if I would have gone with that. So three sun forgers, now it's personal. too many of those. All right, still a three and two in master's rank. We'll take that. That's a positive record. Lots of Demacia Targon right now, and those are not easy decks to beat with. You know, like these kind of like. Um, aggressive mid-range because they play such good defense, have such a good top end, and they also have amazing uh, combat spells with Sharp Sight, Single Combat, and those. That's what Demacia really adds uh, to those decks is, is really good interaction and, and combat spells. Our last opponent just had you know had a very good hand with having three of those 5-4 life steals and you know good single combat and Sharp Sight that were, especially that Sharp Sight that played out well and, and curved out with the Eclipse Dragon into Aurelian Soul uh, right when they needed it. So Captain Farron did a good job finishing out games for the most part, but still it's, you know, can't you can't always win with Captain Farron against those Aurelian Soul decks, especially if they get to play Aurelian Soul before you can play Captain Farron, like what happened that last game. I was impressed with Kato plus Sivir. That was a nice combination. We did a, our deck did a good job of just leveling up Sivir to, um, overall. It did a very good job of that. Uh, both Exhaust and Transfusion were very good spells for us. Uh, Rune, like, getting these extra blades, like, Rune Weaver wasn't a very good two-drop. I could see maybe even just replacing Rune Weaver. I know it reforges to, like, help out Riven and everything, but it's still just a really weak two-drop, just being a, a generic 3-1, and, and that's all it's doing. Because there are, are, there are a lot of really good options at the 1 and 2 mana spots in these regions. Lots and lots of, of playable cards. The... Uh, the Rune Weavers really didn't perform that well. Yeah, so I, I could see those being, you know, something else, depending on whatever you want to play between, you know, like uh, Glory Seeker, Drummer, House Spider. There's just so many good good options, um, but I, I just wasn't very impressed with, with Rune Weaver. Um, but Ballista was good, Riven, good. You know, like a lot of the other cards in our deck, very good. Uh, even Whirling Death. Whirling Death with the Spell Shield units of Sivir and Ruin Runner performed well. Um, kind of the same with the Siphoning Strike. I wouldn't really mind more Whirling Death, Siphoning Strike type stuff. But yeah, I'll take it. You know, 60% win rate for our first time playing the deck in Master's Rank. We played against five good decks. Um, you know, good showing here. And uh, yeah, we'll take it. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, if you got ideas for tuning the deck, you know, like if, if maybe like some uh, some specific spell that we didn't have here or, you know, like a different two drop instead of Rune Weaver that you'd really recommend, you know, anything like that, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the build um, and any other ideas you have there for a Sivir Riven deck. Um, I will, I'll take it. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.